This is Political Blind Date. I often wondered about restorative justice. Sure. Um, and really, this is nothing new. This is Aboriginal, First Nations kind of examples of how to how to treat discord in your community, really, um, yeah. and how to reintegrate people. Um, is there is there hope for more of that, I guess? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, you know, well, mm -hmm. I've been in this business for more than 30 years, mm -hmm. so I have to be an optimist. <laughs> uh, so yes, there's always hope. Um, and, and, you know, you, you, you mentioned working with sex offenders, mm -hmm. some of the most difficult mm -hmm. for many reasons, emotional yeah. reasons, uh, the harm that they cause, uh, the personal trauma that many of those individuals themselves mm -hmm. have suffered. Very, very, very difficult people to work with. Um, but programs like Circles of Support and Accountability mm -hmm. and others have demonstrated that there are ways to work with those individuals and support those individuals in the community so that they're safe and that their communities are safe as well. Um, that don't require a reliance on incarceration. Um, restorative justice as, as a broad approach has, has demonstrated its value. Um, and we know that uh, when a harm is done, what people want is, 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 is they, 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 they want to restore the balance. Mm -hmm. And so if you think of a crime as a harm, and then you know, how is the balance restored if what happens happens in court you know, three years later and then a sentence happens that you've had no part of and you know, you see, it, 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 we've lost a little bit of the philosophy I think behind um, some of our more traditional ways of approaching harm. So am I hopeful? Sure. Is there room for more restorative practices? Absolutely. This is Political Blind Date.